Maintaining a healthy, sustainable diet relies on access to a variety of different foods. It's important to consider the origin, quality and safety of what we eat. Sometimes we want to have tomato sauce in winter, eat a ready meal after a long day at work or try a yoghurt with a surprising texture. For that, we need the help of food additives. Food additives usually don't have a nutritional value, but they are added to food in small amounts to serve a specific function. Some, like preservatives, stop bacteria or mould from spoiling our food so that it lasts longer. Colours are used to make our food look more appealing. Emulsifiers allow water and oils to remain mixed together in an emulsion, for example, in mayonnaise. Food additives can be invented by scientists or inspired by nature. For example, lemons naturally contain an antioxidant called ascorbic acid, also known as vitamin C. When added to foods such as fruit juice, jam or canned vegetables, it helps preserve taste and colour and allows the food to stay edible for longer. Since it's used in large quantities by food producers, we must synthesise it. From a lemon or from a lab, it's the same molecule. Every food additive that we find in our plate has been thoroughly tested and approved by EFSA, the European Food Safety Authority. The safety of each additive is regularly reviewed based on the latest science. There are rules on how each additive can be used. They specify the type of products and the quantities that are safe for humans. A small number of additives have been linked to negative health effects in sensitive individuals. For example, colours in hyperactivity or intolerance to sulphites in wine. All approved food additives are assigned an E number. You can find the E number or name of the additive along with its functions on your food packaging. Be curious. Check your food's label. Thank you.